All right, Nick. What is this uh, strange contraption we're looking at here? Um, I wanted to get the uh, the weld where I can actually weld it instead of just bending over and, and just in a weird position. Well, let's back up just a hair. We have what looks like the beginning of a uh, a Y pipe here, and this was the the Magnaflow X pipe for our cutlass project that you made a patch for to turn into a Y. Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, I uh, cut out part of the X because uh, we're only one, running one side of the exhaust. Um, and then I cleaned up the edge here so I can seam through there. And then we had extra pipe, um, so I just cut a section out and it fits right in. Okay. And the other trick here is how you're holding this whole thing in place, getting ready to weld it. So you've got this slipped over a piece of pipe in the vise. And then on this side, it's wedged up in the trans jack, right? Yeah. So the moral of the story is if it stays, it works. Yeah, just do whatever you can to make it stay so that when you're welding, it doesn't move on you. Nice. And uh, we loaded the HTP MIG with some stainless wire to make this a nice, clean stainless weld. And uh, you're getting ready to make this whole thing work. And there's going to be a lot more detail on how the system all comes together later. But the tip here today is just... Uh, Sometimes you got to do whatever you can to make this stuff stay.